All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Bihawah Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word and truth and his sincerity and with charity. And um, this is going to be a quick lesson. All right. Going into the times that we're living in now, we're living in the downfall of the nation of Edom. Okay, you read about that in Daniel, the seventh chapter. Okay, the end of the Roman Empire. This is Rome all over again. And this we're living in the days of its end. Okay, that's why you see the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans coming back to who they are. All right. And you also have you so-called white people finding out who you are. You are the biblical Edomites, the nation of Edom, spoken of in the scriptures. The proudest, all right, most arrogant nation that the Lord created, man. The most subtile beast of the, of the field, man. And you're living in a time of your end, okay? Because the Lord is against them that are proud. And what is, uh, this is just a line back in the brother in South Carolina. All right. He said that you it's in your name. And it's true. It's you're proud to be an American. That's a that's a that's a saying of a so-called white person or a biblical Edomite, man. And they're the most prideful people you experience through your day to day walk in this reality, man. And the Lord's coming to visit this nation that's ruling in pride and arrogancy because he is against them. OK, this is Psalms 94. Let's get this real quick. Psalm chapter 94. Psalm chapter 94, verse 2. I start at 1. O Yahweh, power to whom vengeance belongeth. O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. All right? And that's what we pray every day that the Lord returns to this place to destroy you, Edomites, man, because you are. Wickedly ruling the earth and you have us in captivity who are the apple of the Lord's eye, man. All right. So we pray day in, day in, day in and day out. All right. For the Lord to come into this place. And that's what is taking place, which is why all these things are happening, which is why all these events are taking place. All this chaos and confusion because this place is being visited by the Lord. All right. Psalms 94 and 2. Lift up thyself. Thou judge of the earth, all right, showing you that there's a higher power above you, Esau. You see, there's an actual judge of the earth, and it's not you. All right, it's Yahweh. Psalms 94 and 2, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. And that's what we pray each and every day, because we understand that you're the most prideful people Pride, a uh, 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 most proud nation on the face of the earth, man. And the Lord is against you. So now we're playing to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to come and pay you a visit. Okay? We're not going to do anything because you're actually, we can't do anything carnally against you. Your blessing as having a sword, which are weapon, which is weaponry and violence and destruction. All right? It's something that we can never win against. <laughs> all we have is this, these scriptures. And they're coming to life and manifesting themselves in this reality, all right? Because of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is Job, and they're gonna and the pride, the proud is gonna get a visit. Two thirds of our people have taken the spirit of you. John eight and forty four says that two thirds of our people are of their father, the devil, and that's you, you Edomites. So therefore, they have that same heightened. Sense of pride, all right, about themselves as well. This is uh, Job 40. And all people that are proud are going to be destroyed, man. This is what the Lord says. It's in the Bible. This is Job 40. Job chapter 40, verse 12. I'm going to start at 11. Cast, cast, it says, cast abroad the rage of thy wrath. <laughs> it's a prayer. You see? 
It's a it's begging the Lord to do this to you, man. And that's what our spirit is, man. The same as Job, man. Job 40 and 11. Cast abroad the rage of thy wrath. And behold, everyone that is proud and abase him. All right. So when the Lord comes in here, we're praying that he comes quickly. You know, Lord willing, we're right in his eyes and we receive salvation. But we're praying that he comes in and takes out you prideful people, man. That just live their life in arrogancy and pride and pride and do not know the Lord. How about Shemiah Shai? You see, those people are going to be judged in these last days. And the main all right, culprit of that is Esau Edom. Job 40. Job 40 and 12. Look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. And that is what the Yahweh Bashem Shai is coming to do. All right. We're just messengers letting you know what the God of this reality and this planet and universe is coming to do. That's why you see these chariots manifest because judgment is about to come forth upon the proud. All right. Mainly in the pride, proud consists of mainly you Edomites, man. The majority of you are proud. All right. This is Isaiah 13. And I don't want to make this extremely long. Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13, chapter and verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh in both cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. So is this going to be a good time is coming from the Lord? Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And that's you Edomites got a lot coming man, from a, 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 a ultimate power that's above you. All right. You have a, a judgment coming from an entity that created you. All right. And that maneuvers you and wakes you up every day <laughs> and has given you this earth. Like Job, the ninth chapter says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is who you Edomites are and your pride. OK. And we're coming into the time of your judgment. That's why this truth is coming out all over the planet. This is Obadiah. And I don't want to make this extremely long. This is Obadiah. Wait one second. This is Obadiah. Verse 3. The pride of the, the pride. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Who is this talking about, Lord? Oh, I'll give you a clue. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, you have the eagle on the American, uh, what, as the America's emblem, uh, emblem all right, as well as the eagle for other uh, Edomite countries. You see? The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Obadiah 3, verse 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down? Who shall bring me down to the ground? The Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which is why you're seeing these, these vehicles manifest themselves. You're seeing us wake up. You're seeing the earthquakes around the world. You're seeing the pestilence. Because the Lord is coming to judge you. He's going to bring you down to the ground. You see? Verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou get set thy nest amongst the stars, your space stations, NASA, your space force, all right, intercontinental ballistic missiles, 
but mainly these space stations. As soon as you started to go out to space, the Lord started speeding up your dec your decline, man. All the way up until now, where, where we're at the 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 end of the end for you. I Obadiah four, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, therefore will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. That's what we're seeing about. The, we're about to see this take place, man. Lord willing, this is Jeremiah fifty. Because what's the Lord gonna do? The Lord is gonna ultimately destroy you by way of thermonuclear destructive missiles, and by way of those vehicles you're seeing, the chariots of Israel. All right, as as well as other ways, plagues. You see, it's all types of destruction and judgment plan for the pro for the proud man, for the wicked. You see, Jeremiah 50, wait me one second, this is Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 50 and 29, it says, call together the archers against Babylon, okay, this is America, by the way, and the archers are these other countries with their ICBMs. That's why you see them coming on and off the news talking about uh, uh, Russia. All right. It's building missiles. There's an arms race. You have China. There's an arms race. You have conflict with Iran. You have conflict with China and Russia and North Korea. And they're all building these missiles as well as other countries that are going to turn against you, your allies. You see, those are the archers. And what are the, what are the arrows? Those missiles. And who are you? America, Babylon, the Great. Jeremiah 50 and 29 called together the archers against Babylon. And this is the Lord's purpose, by the way. We don't, we don't orchestrate this reality. <laughs> How about Shemiah does? Jeremiah 50 and 29 called together the archers against, against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, all these countries that are capable of shooting these missiles... These intercontinental ballistic missiles, like the Satan 1 and Satan 2, and the Moab, you see, bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape, Pre recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her, for she have been proud, who is that, this America, Babylon the Great. And who rules America, Babylon the Great? Esau, Edom. Do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. And that's why this judgment is coming forth. That's why these things, this reality is, is changing quicker than people have ever realized, man. They can't pinpoint what's going on, but the prophets are out, been out on the highways and byways from the apostles and elders on down teaching this word. Letting Esau know that his destruction is 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 getting nearer and nearer. Okay, the the destruction of the prideful and the proud, the people that are proud against the Lord is near. Okay, this is Malachi chapter four. This is Malachi chapter four. Wait one second. This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. How is it going to burn? Those missiles that have been shot. You see? The missiles that I read about in Jeremiah 50, when they hit this place, this place is going to be utterly burned to nothing. All right? It's going to become a desert, as the scripture says, for the bittern and for dragons of the wilderness. Malachi 4 verse 1, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. The missiles are going to be extremely hot. The Lord's spear is going to be in the missiles. And all the proud, yeah, and all, what did it say? And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. They don't ever read you this in the church because people in the church don't have the truth, man. And all the proud, yeah, and all. Let's read it again. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. 
And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So the, 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 the proud, all right, beginning with you Edomites, two thirds of our people, the heathens, all right, them all being led by you Edomites, you're going to become stubble, as the scripture says here in these last days. Why? Because you have became proud against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, Lord willing, that was edifying. Call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Well, Yahweh Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Citations to Akim across the world, pushing his word and truth and his sincerity and with charity. Shalom, Ababa Ba.